Hell Hunter. Anti Noman. New g load game. You have reached. What's Ghost. up, guys? Welcome back Hello, to Captain. another video. If back. you are new to this, you to the captain's room. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share, guys. And today I am going to be playing Hell Hunter. You have reached Ghost Captain Treasures. Right. To the stern. So let's go to the stern. So yeah, guys, we're to um, fight right now. You have reached Ghost Ship right. Stern. To the captain. To the main deck. Yeah. Oh my god. You have reached ghost ship. To below deck. Main mast, skeleton for cannons. Elian must reach the crew as fast as he can. Oh my. Skeleton main to below deck. To the bow. To the stern. To the speedboat. Let's go to the speedboat. Alien quickly returns to the speedboat. All right. The crew is all outside the cabin. They are scared to death. Yeah. Convincing them to help him with cannons might prove even harder than escaping from the Kraken. Right. You have reached speedboat outside. Lifeboat. Crew member two. He's on the verge of freaking out. The shotgun in his hands is useless. Not even dangerous for the crew. Crew member three, Amelia. Amelia is shaking, but she's the leader. If Elian wants their cooperation, then he must convince her first of all. They don't know what to do. Elian explains the situation. They are too scared to help him. Meanwhile, the Kraken keeps on with its rampage. At a certain point, while Elian is trying to find the right words to make them react, a tentacle of the Kraken oh suddenly moves toward the speedboat. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Elian doesn't make it in oh time my god. to warn Here the crew, we go, guys. and so it hits oh. the second member of the crew full in the head. There's nothing to do. It tears his head off, and the body falls. The crew starts to scream and freak out as they see his neck still spilling blood. Elian immediately shouts at them with all his voice to calm down. That's sad, guys. It seems to have some effect. With a harsh and unshakable voice, he tells the crew, especially Amelia, to stand up and help him with the cannons. Right. Or it will be the end for everyone. Oh my. Amelia is with Elian. And in a few seconds, the crew is ready to go. All right, so I have to go back to the... Uh, crew member for crew to ins to the ghost ship. ghost ship. Alien returns to the ghost ship. The crew quickly move towards the cannons that point towards the Kraken and start to fire. Oh, yes. The Kraken is huge. The explosions have some effect on him, yeah. after all. Now it's Elian's turn. You have reached main ghost skeleton cannons. Elian positions himself next to one of the last two free cannons and starts to fire. The Kraken becomes agitated and swings a tentacle towards Elian. He dodges it with perfect timing. He hits the ship instead, making it shake. Elian must take into account that even if he manages to keep dodging it, the ship could be destroyed before they have the chance to escape. He must consider the eventuality of being hit on purpose to protect the ship during the battle. In any case, it will be a fight against time. So he doesn't waste a second. The battle begins.
The battle ends. Oh, yeah. Okay, did I win? Alien gains one thousand experience points. Double tap to continue. That's double tap, guys. Right. Suddenly, the Kraken lets go of the ship and it starts Ooh. moving. There's a problem. The speedboat is still stuck. If the ship departs, they won't be able to escape anymore with the speedboat. So Elian decides to go to the bow and stop the oh. ship using the anchor. Okay, so we have to go to the, the crew bow. will try to keep the Kraken busy in the meantime. Right. Cannonballs. To the speedboat. To the stern. To the bow. Go here. You have reached right. Ghost Ship. Bow. Hole. Bowsprit. Hole. There's a small hole on the floor. Not enough to fall inside it, wow. but enough to make you stumble. Yeah. It's too dark to see through the hole. Bowsprit. Anchor. Bowsprit. It's damaged as well. There's a anchor. Elian doesn't waste a second and uses all his strength to drag the anchor and toss it into the sea. Yes. It worked! The anchor sank into the sea Ooh. and now the ship stops moving. Okay. The others are doing well. Yes. Even the speedboat is free and I the crew it. is going aboard. Now Elian should do the same. Okay. Or so he thinks at least. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. after the first step toward the main deck, the Kraken swings a tentacle outside the view of Elian, and since he let his guard down for a moment, he barely notices oh. the threat coming and gets hit. Oh. The blow makes him fall straight into the sea. Oh. Are we a dead? few seconds later, he loses consciousness. Oh my God. When Elian opens his eyes, he's still dazed. His sight is blurry. The sound of the waves, the sand on his face, and then a female figure in the distance that gets closer to him. Elian is exhausted and faints again. Meanwhile, how much time has passed? Yeah. Elian wakes up, but he can't move, except his head. He's strapped to an electric chair. Ooh. He quickly needs to figure out where he is and what's happening. You have reached Hidden Cave, Torture Chamber. Oh, this is a different place, guys. Saving point. Oh, I can save? You saved the game. All right. Needles. On a chair, there are many metal needles. needles. They are about 15 centimeters long. Tub. It contains some water. There's a sponge inside. Oh, there's a sponge. Electric chair. It looks like a custom model. Since there are no wires, the battery must be included. Elian is restricted and his limbs are blocked. He can only actually move his head. A few moments later, the door opens. Oh. A woman enters the chamber. It must be the same that Elian saw before fainting the second time. She's tall, beautiful. Her long scarlet hair sways with each step. Her blue eyes stand out due to the contrast with her hair. She gets close and leans toward Elian. <laughs> then she slowly makes a big smile and shows her teeth on purpose. There's no doubt. She's a vampire. Oh my god. His reaction is not the one she expected, so she tells him that she's surprised, as it looks like Elian has already seen a vampire. She introduces herself. She is Deus and asks his name, but Elian won't answer her question. He wants to know why she restrained him and where they are. Deus starts to laugh and tells Elian that where they are is not important. Why she's doing this, he will know that very, very soon. Deus adds that if he's shy and doesn't want to say his name, that's no problem. They will have a lot of time to get to know each other better. But the time to chat is over, and as Elian tries to reply, 
she immediately applies to his mouth a wooden bite with leather, which laces up behind his neck. Oh. Elian gets angry, but he can only moan. Words won't come out. A sick smile comes across her face. Wow. Now it's time to start. Oh my God. Deus explains what she's going to do and describes the properties of the electric chair. The voltage is regulated in a way so it's not deadly, as she wants to play with Elian. <laughs> now she finally activates the electricity. Oh Elian starts to spasm as if he's having convulsions and screams like hell. Elian will have to resist the torture. He cannot attack Deus or drink blood vials. So he must focus on his defense. Get ready for a harsh trial. Oh my god. Okay. He has no more blood vials. <laughs> okay, that chair is done. I'm moving to the left. Into the left. Into the left. Into the left. Oh, to the left. To the right. It's gonna be over. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Okay. Oh. Double tap to continue. Oh. Okay, it's over, guys. Many hours later, when the electric chair is turned off, the torture finally ends. Oh, yes. But that's not how the torture has continued in the meantime. With her long leather gloves, which are part of her dress, she slowly removes the metal needles which were embedded between his fingers and nails. The blood keeps coming out as he suffers tremendously. Elian clearly sees Deus chuckling and licking her red lips tastefully during the process. In the end, she meticulously cleans the needles. Then she gently caresses his hair while she compliments him for resisting and finally removes from Elian's mouth the bite, which is covered in drool. He doesn't even have the strength to say something. Before leaving, she wishes sweet dreams to Elian. They will play again tomorrow. Ooh. Then she closes the door. Now he's alone in the room. Tub. Tub. If Elian thought for a moment that after all he could bear the electricity somehow, then he had to change his mind when she wet him with the sponge. Electric chair. It has been a very long day. His trousers are wet. Although Elian just wants to sleep as soon as possible, he must look around in search of information on this place and plan an escape. Yeah. Door. There's a closed door on the other side of the chamber. It looks quite heavy, and it's made of metal. Lever. Elian wonders what that lever does. Yeah. But judging from the tools inside the chamber, it probably can't be a good thing. Saving point. Oh, I can save again. You saved the game. Yes. Walls. Walls. Elian looks around. The walls don't have an opening. Not even a small window. He's not able to determine whether it's day or night. Ooh. Needles. When the needles came into play, he never felt such intense pain before. He also fainted many times, but Deus definitely was not in a hurry. The worst part was when she turned the electric chair on again, while the metal needles were still embedded in his body. He doesn't want to remember that. He can't even close his hands. Yeah. Ceiling. Ceiling. Unlike the ground, which is polished, the ceiling is clearly one of a natural cave. Okay. Tub. Electric chair. Door. There's a closed door on the other side of the chamber. Ele tub. If Elian thought for a moment that a ceiling, on second glance, he notices that on the ceiling there's some hook fixed to it. Ooh. Okay. On second glance, he notices needles. When the needles came into play, walls. This place is probably isolated and far from civilization. Saving point. You saved the game, Lever. Elian wonders what that lever does. Door. There's a closed door on the other side of the chamber. It looks quite heavy, and it's made of metal. Electric chair. Elian. Oh, I missed that. to dodge. Yes. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna be closing the app. Speech on. Open it. Hell Hunter and 
Close Hell Hunter. Okay. Cont- portrait. Message. Hell Hunter. Anti Nomen. Right. Voice over off. Hell Hunter. New g- load game. Let's load the game. You have reached yeah. lever. Now let's see. Door. Electric chair. Elian collapses into a long sleep. Or oh, so he yeah. thinks. Because he suddenly gets woken up by a tub of water. Oh. <laughs> Deus returned. Ooh. He doesn't know how much he slept, but since she had time to change the tools in the room, his sleep must have been really deep. Even the electric chair has been removed. Yes. Instead, his body lies on the floor and is restricted by chains fixed on the wall nearby. She actually even took his shirt and jacket. <laughs> she greets Elian and asks for forgiveness as she made him wait so long. Deus was enchanted while staring at the wounds she caused him yesterday. But what surprised her the most was how fast they regenerated. Yeah. She tells Elian that he is clearly not a human. But Deus has never heard of him among the vampires. She kneels before him and softly puts her hands on his cheeks. And with the right thumb she lifts his upper lip. His teeth confirm that Elian is not a vampire. Deus asks him if he's a dampier. Elian won't answer, but she smiles and chuckles as if she knew the answer already. Ooh. With an impulse of anger, he tries to bite her hand and to grab her with his hands. But the chains won't allow that. Ooh. Deus swiftly dodges the bite and, without changing her expression, she punches his face. The impact smashes him violently against the wall. Even though she's a vampire, Elian didn't expect such a strength. Yeah. She must be a high-born vampire. There's a chance that actually she wouldn't even need to block his movements to prevail against Elian. Still, he doesn't understand why she's living here. Vampires are used to luxurious manors or castles. But it looks like she lives in a cave instead. There's one more thing that she wants to know. The scar, the one on his chest caused by Dracula. Oh, Dracula, yeah. Her fingers slowly slip along the scar. And she can't help but comment how perfect that cut is. Not only that, she can even see Elian's captured essence of Dampier. Deus also says that even his true name has been stolen. Without any doubt, she can tell for sure that this is Dracula's doing. Yeah. Deus says that Dracula surely knows how to play with his friends, but she likes a more direct approach. Anyway, she's disappointed that Dracula arrived before her. So she will start with Elian's back. <laughs> he wants to know more about what she just said, but Deus interrupts him, telling that if he must bark that much, then he should do it while wearing a collar. Ooh. So she applies a red collar on his neck against his will. Oh my God. Then finally she puts an eye mask on him. With his ears, Elian can hear Deus going out of the room, and some minutes later returning. He can smell the scent of candles and something that makes him turn pale. Boiling oil. Deus is amused as she watches his reaction and gets close to Elian to make him smell the tools that will be used today better. She touches her lips to his left ear and whispers that now they will have a lot of fun. Without sight, her voice seems even deeper than usual. And so Deus starts. The boiling wax is poured on Elian's back. It's time to resist another torture. Oh my god. Okay. Dodge. He has no more blood vials. 
Okay, so I cannot use my blood vials, guys. She's laughing, guys. While um, Amy is getting hurt. He has no more blood vials. Okay, my heart. It means I'm gonna die soon, guys. Swipe left to load the last saved game. Swipe right to go back to the main menu. Hell Hunter, Anti Noman. Move among the new game. Load game. All right, guys. I'm gonna be ending this video here, guys. So I know it was a short one, but I'm gonna discover how to beat that uh, or how to win. So yeah, guys. So please like, share, and subscribe and comment, guys. You know. I want 50 subscribers by the end of this year. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, guys! You know, so hope that you're uh, you're having a wonderful um, month this Christmas, you know. And yeah, guys. And I already got my iPhone 13. So, but um, that iPhone I'm gonna be using for um, for other things, you know. And this one, this iPhone, I'm gonna be using it for um, for recording videos. So yeah. So stay safe and yeah guys, blessings. Bye guys. Peace. Stay safe guys and take care. Bye guys.